What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are finally at about 4 p.m. on this Wednesday. We finally have what looks to be the majority of the Supreme Week 17 Spring Summer 2020 drop list. If I'm not mistaken, this is well, this is week 17 slash week week 16. We all know Supreme took a hiatus two weeks ago. They didn't know a drop, they didn't announce nothing, they just said uh they didn't say they just didn't drop at 11 a.m. Eastern. First time they've ever done that, I think, during a regular season. Except, yeah, that I can recall. That at least I've been in the game for. But in this video, as you guys know, we're going to talk about expected retail, expected resale price estimations for all the items that we do have at the moment. Now, with it being COVID, with all like leaks and info is being kind of mumbled jumbled, uh, stuff doesn't come out on time. So there might be some additional items dropping this week, and some items may push back next week. So viewer discretion is advised. If you see something else that ends up dropping on Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern it is what it is and honestly though I don't think there's gonna be any other fire piece dropping this week uh, because most of the fire pieces do get covered by uh, mo most most of the sources out there so as you guys know, we're gonna go from least hype to most hype to least resale to most resale uh, and you know my three biggest announcements first of all cockex stockx also mighty Co of all oh, whoa, 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 the stock market of all things uh is great don't get me wrong it's spectacular but please don't undercut please don't destroy market i always have to say this every week just to instill into people's mind just leave what below us ask then eventually it'll get taken and also i have to instill in your minds that the premium group is restocking a few few slots this night tonight at 8 p.m eastern you guys will see all the info over here make sure you subscribe into paypal hit the subscribe button and boom you should luckily hopefully get in i apologize we can't have of course an influx amount of spots because that takes away a lot of the user experience so without further ado we are going to roll over to the left and once again i do want to urge you there might be some updates check the pinned comment down below if there will be any additional updates but yes as a, as a matter of fact i think we actually might have just got an update Check Supreme. All right, wait, wait. Before we get into this, I apologize. I wanted to rush into it. Check Supreme's IG story as well. Typically, they do post it on there. So let's get right into it. So first up, ladies and gentlemen, we do have the grid soccer jersey and soccer shorts. And also, I do want to mention there's only 12 items in the drop right now. It is what it is. It's already late today, and I can't wait much longer for this video because it does take me some time to edit. So this is what we got, ladies and gentlemen. The great soccer short and jerseys are dropping in four different colorways, a purple, an orange, yellow, a black and white, and a blue and white. Retail on the jersey is going to be 98 US dollars on the shorts, 98 US dollars as well as expected. Um, no room for profit. Absolutely no room for profit. The shorts though, I mean, it's summertime shorts. Everyone likes the shorts, uh, but at the end of the day, I don't see these doing too well. The grid pattern really, it's not, it's not a wave no more. Ain't no plaid season like it used to be back in the 07 era. Like I knew anything back then. We got the Supreme Cursive logo on the bottom left of the left of the left side of the pants. And then on the actual jersey itself, you do have some of the more cursive branding on the left chesticle as well. Once again, four different colorways. Supreme branding is all over, but it's like embossed into like the actual grid that like you can't really tell what is going. Like you can't even tell it's Supreme at the end of the day. And soccer jerseys don't do well unless it's a good collab, and shorts only tend to do well if it's a good branding. Next up, we do go move. We do go move on to the embroidered short sleeve shirt, dropping for 128 US dollars. Four different colorways: a black, white, pink, and blue. Uh, you know, pretty much all you have is a little bit of sesh, the grandma knitting style on this front of it, kind of like an OG vibe of a button up rayon. Not even a rayon shirt, just an embroidered short sleeve shirt. Looks like it has extended extended sleeves and what it's supposed to be. Uh, four different colorways, all cotton with embroidered pattern. Not a vibe. Not gonna do. Well, it's an easy pass for everyone at the end of the day. Next up, we we'll move on to the Dazzle Mesh Short Sleeve Top, retailing for 78 US dollars. Resale on this piece might go up to maybe like $10 profit at the end of the day, but not even. I wouldn't even bother going for this unless you're going to keep it for the body and not for some body. Uh, it's poly with mesh top layer. Only branding you do have once again is just a flat chest branding you got supreme on there with the collegiate blocking and what looks like it to be you have the supreme tag on the bottom left and typically when supreme does have a different tag on the bottom left as well as the actual neck tag instead of the regular loose with the bogo on the white tag this one's actually embroidered in tends to mean it's a much higher quality t-shirt and therefore it does make sense for the retail to be upwards of 90 of 78 us dollars i should say then we go on to the first jacket we're going to get into of this week, which is a world famous coach's jacket retailing for 138 US dollars. Black, pale lime green, a blue and orange, and a nice pink. We don't see light pink like this drop too often. And the only branding you do have is world famous Supreme T on the back of it, written in some nice, cool looking 
I like old, old, old font, old foreign font. On the front, you don't have any branding. It looks like a basic ass coach's jacket like you would get from a manufacturer and all they do is screen print branding on the back. It's water resistant poly with cotton jersey lining, snap front closure with hand pockets at lower front, an interior chest pocket, printed logo at back. And that's just about it. I don't see a lot of profit on this one, maybe in a size small pink, but at the end of the day, that's just about it. And continuing on, ladies and gentlemen, we do move on to the work shorts, dropping in a plethora amount of different colorways we got a black red baby blue khaki black and white american flag navy a peach pink matches that iconic pink box logo as you guys know then the american flag shorts as well now these i don't see to do well uh branding on these is very very minimal not even any cursive branding on them at all the only ones that do have somewhat of a decent amount of branding is the american flag shorts that do have supreme woven into the actual not woven in but you know embossed into the stripes of the american flag but at the end of the day i don't see any profit coming from it it's 110 dollars retail cool personal i guess if you want some new chino work shorts uh, but at the end of the day, it's an easy pass on my end. The material is a heavy cotton blend quill. Uh, then we go on to the over dyed pocket t shirt dropping for 58 US dollars in a multitude of different colorways. Now, this was rumored to come out last week, but as you guys know, there's always hicks and you know kicks in the drop list, so it did end up getting pushed back to this week. Oh, uh, we have a nice little camo. We have it looks like it's like spray painted camo almost, doesn't look official. We have a pale lime, an overwash dark black gray colorway, a pink, a burgundy, as well as a nice blue. It's all cotton jersey. The only brand you do have is a nice classic logo on the pocket. Great personal my opinion what typically when supreme does is high quality t-shirts they come out really really nice they're kind of like a little bit of a heavier weight material and they are nice and a little bit thicker but not too thick that you sweat too much and i am always a fan of them just the designs typically on the high end t-shirts don't ever end up being that well because they never do any graphic prints they typically are always typically always embroidered or patched uh designs onto them and next up, we do move on to the warm-up hooded sweatshirt, retailing for 158 US, US dollars, dropping in a few different colorways. We got a gray with purple. Oh, that Brazil colorway matches the Nike Brazil dunks exquisitely. We have the core purples kind of matching the first colorway, as I mentioned. Then we have the black, white, green, and blue, as well as the red and black. Now, this hoodie is an easy pass on my end. It should be on yours if you are trying to make some pro I mean, if you're making profit this week, there's only really one item or two, two, two to one to two items you're going to go for. But if you're caught trying to cover for the personal, I think this is a fire piece, especially if you've got the Nike Dunk Low Brazils and you're, you're about that loud colorway, that yellow hooded sweatshirt with the Nike Dunk Low Brazils hits perfectly. Uh, five different colors, as I said, retail them is expected to be 158 US dollars. There's only Decent branding on the front, which is a nice little classic Supreme embroidered logo right there. Then it comes striped all around. Uh, resale wise, I could see maybe going around $170, $180. But lately, as you guys know, it's summer. People aren't really focused on hooded sweatshirts as much as they would be in the winter. So that's why I call a lot of this outerwear stuff an easy pass. Then we go to the Naomi crew neck, which is fire in my opinion. I really, really do like this piece. Uh, I'm not really a fan of typically all over prints, but I think this all over print is executed in just the right way. It's not too loud. It's black and white and like in the ash gray. And then the only thing that separates them apart is the different colored flames that you can see around the actual artwork. Um, and I think they actually did really, really well. It's not like, cause it's, it's an all over print, but it's not like you have all different colors that everyone can see all sorts of rainbow BS. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice little... And it's nice little, uh, it's like washed into with actual clothing. So it looks like it could actually fit. Doesn't look too extra. Supreme burning on the right side of the actual piece. And you have Naomi, of course, smiling beautifully in the center of the, of the graphic. It's original photo photography by Pamela Hansen. Original artwork by Mark Gonzalez. As you know, the icon. Three different colors. We've got a blue, a green, as well as a nice lavender. Uh, resale, I could see maybe going to 190 to 180. But once again, a lot of people aren't fans of uh, Naomi. And it's just, they're going to pass on it. Uh, next, we go into the known as towel, which is going to be retailing for 68 US dollars. Only good thing about this is it does say Supreme really boldly on the piece, but we want it to be known as Supreme. It's not going to appeal to a ton of people. Three different colorways, a turquoise, red, and a black. All cotton, 69.5 by 39 is the actual dimensions of it. So it's a pretty decently sized towel. Uh, we want it to be known as Supreme. That's all you see. It's dope, it's simple, but resale wise, I could see it maybe going around 70 to 90 bucks. And beaches all aren't even open at the moment. So, like, what are you gonna do with it? Or pools, that's why, you know, Time Boy TV Plus, we've been cooking them up for the past two months. But, side note right there. Uh, and as I said, yeah, I'd just, I would maybe cop it for the resale if you wanna make like lunch money or risk losing money. Cause as you, if you have looked in the past, towels tend to do never that good on the aftermarket. 
And last but not least, we do have the Supreme Shed Rain Transparent Checkered Board Umbrella, retailing for 32 US dollars. I think this is a great cop. They haven't dropped like um, umbrellas like this in quite a long time. It's 43 inches, auto open and closed transparent umbrella. Transparent, cool design on Supremes, and it looks like it does come with a nice little casing as well. Minor Supreme branding on certain different blocks. It's checkered board. I can see resale maybe going to around $70 at the end of the day. So this is probably the most profitable item. Probably going to sell it the fastest at around maybe 15 to 20 seconds, if that. But I see, I, I expect pretty slow sell time this week. Personally, myself, what I'm going for, maybe the Naomi Krunek. But I have too many personals already. I can't be affording it. And then we maybe the umbrella as well. And everything else is an easy pass on my end. Over die shirt, I would get, but it's dope. But I already have my car heart, you know, and I love car hearts. So like to the to the day I die, I'll be rocking car heart. So that's just about it this week. Hope you guys enjoyed. Good luck this Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern. Other than that, though, I think that's just about it. As for issues for Supreme Online release, I haven't seen a lot of issues lately. Of course, you do have the high traffic issue, and what I recommend doing is changing up a bit of your info, like your address, adding apartment number, or something like that. So that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.